Now to the impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. President Trump will be in New York City today for the city's Veterans Day parade. This comes as the inquiry enters a new stage. CBS 4's Mark Liverman is on the parade route where the president will speak this morning. President Trump is in New York City for his hometown's Veterans Day parade. The event kicks off a critical week for the White House. On Wednesday, the House will begin public hearings in its ongoing impeachment inquiry into the president. One of the first witnesses scheduled to testify is a member of the Trump administration, William Taylor, the acting ambassador to Ukraine. We have enough evidence from the depositions that we've done to warrant bringing this forward. President Trump has called on the GOP to help fight what he's dismissed as a hoax and a witch hunt. But some Republicans say they're waiting to see the evidence. If it can be demonstrated that the president asked for and, and had the requisite state of mind, that the president asked for an investigation of a political rival, that's over the line. A new book by former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley also shines an unwelcome light on the White House. Haley claims former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and former Chief of Staff John Kelly tried to get her to work with them to resist President Trump's wishes. Haley told CBS Sunday morning the idea offended her. To undermine a president is really a very dangerous thing, and it goes against the Constitution, and it goes against what the American people want. And it was was offensive. In a statement, Kelly told CBS News it was his job to present many sides of policy choices to President Trump so he could make an informed decision. Mark Liverman, CBS News, New York.